Right you guys, got another video on how to use the Windows 10 Dart theme on Windows 10 1903. It's the latest version of Windows 10 and if you want to make your uh, Windows 10 black or dark, you can use the actual dark theme. You see it's uh, not on at the moment and uh, we've got the white task bar and everything else is sort of whitey grey sort of colour. But if you want to protect your eyes and use a darker colour you can do, you can change it to whatever colour you like but we're calling this one the uh, dark theme here so go into settings you can see everything is uh, bright here what you want to do is go into personalize here and then go into colors and in here you will see uh, the uh, color chart there and also you can see choose your own color it's on light at the moment so if we change this to dark you'll see it just go dark but if you want to change it to custom you get an extra few options here so you can see it's just done the dark theme here, but it hasn't done all the apps and stuff like that. So if you want to make it dark across the board, what you want to do is go custom and it gives you a few more options uh, to add in. Like choose your uh, default app mode and you can see I've got this on dark as well now. The transparency effect is off. If you want to leave that on, you can do. I've got mine off and you can also choose uh, an accent color there as well, which I'd advise you to do more. Uh, darker so you can see it's on blue at the moment but you can change this to whatever you like really you can automatically pick an accent color if you want it automatically uh, chooses that that gray effect but if you want to do it manually you just put the tick inside these and you're pretty much good to go there you've got your own custom uh, setup here you can also show accents color on the following surfaces which is your start your task bar and also your action center and you've also got options below that which is for your title bars and also your window borders. You can also put the dark theme around those as well. And once you've done that, you should have the complete dark theme uh, enabled. You can see we've got the full dark theme going on here. We don't need to download or adapt any sort of Windows files. It's already built into Windows 10 1903 and you get the full dark theme experience. So I'll just quickly show you the settings pane here. So if we go back to uh, settings you'll see that that's been changed as well and of course you can make changes to fonts and stuff like that if you wish it's entirely up to you but if you want it completely dark like this then that is the way you um, add the dark theme in Windows 10 1903 now it also changes uh, a lot of the other areas as well so the transparency will make that sidebar transparent there um, down the left hand side if you want to put that on you can do but I don't like that uh, effect I've just turned it off because it just takes more resources um, but that's pretty much it really now you can also change your own custom color here by add a custom color and you can change the brightness as well by using this fader or this slider here and the color you just move the little uh, color dot around that's entirely up to you whatever you choose so it's, it's up to you whatever colors you want to use for your themes it don't have to be dark but that's basically how you can use the dark theme mode in there and then all you have to do is choose a wallpaper of your choice and uh, you're pretty much good to go so if you've got another wallpaper that you wish to use your own sort of favorite wallpaper uh, something like this maybe uh, that gives you that dark theme effect then you can also add that on and keep your desktop nice and clear and that's pretty much it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one helps you out it's just a quick video for today and i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos